now that we got the configure shortcut method finished we need to uh, add the request create shortcut after that activity for result is called so in the on activity for result we can add an else if and say request code equals equals request create shortcut and then we will have to create a method called config or create shortcut so so we can just call it right here and it's going to need the data now let's create that method now it would be a lot to do this all um, from scratch on this video so I actually put it on uh, github so in s12 basic launcher it's in slash part 12 notes txt you can choose raw that will make it easier to select everything so I this is the whole create shortcut um, method so now I'm going to add that method right underneath configure shortcut now I'm going to show you what this is doing basically so it's getting the icon resource and if that it depending on that if it, that exists or not um, they can also pass in a bitmap instead so either an icon resource or a bitmap and then it also passes in the label as well as the intent that's going to be launched when you press on the shortcut so if the icon is null then it gets the icon from the icon resource and then if everything is not null the label the intent and the icon then it will add it onto the home view and I've already added a long click listener with the on touch listener, uh, the app touch listener, because it's basically um, the same. It, it's not specifically for the apps. All it is is for moving that view, for dragging it. And then we also set, I also set a tag of an intent. So I passed in the short cut intent as a tag and then I added it to the home home view so what I do need to do still is add the click listener so it will be basically the same as the app click listener so I'll right click new class and name it short cut click listener And then I'm just going to go into the app click listener. Basically, copy everything after the app click listener um, class creation. So, starting at implements, I'll copy that, paste it. So it's basically the same. And then we don't need the pack packages, so we can remove that from the constructor. And then instead of app click listener, it's going to be shortcut click 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 listener. And then instead of launch intent, we can actually remove this. And we actually we instead of a string, it's an intent. So and change that to an intent, the data, and then cast it to an intent from the tag and then we start activity based off that data So basically that's about it for the click listener so now after the set on long click, list, click listener we need to add ll.set on click listener and then new shortcut click, list, click listener and pass in this as context 
So I believe that's about it for shortcuts. So I'm going to run it and show you how it's all working. Okay, so I'm going to long press. I'm going to choose shortcut. It will bring up this list. I'm going to choose a contact. And then it's going to bring in the configure activity. I'm going to choose Atom. And as you can see, it goes straight onto the home screen. You can long press and drag. And when you click, it opens the contact. So that is all for shortcuts. I hope you enjoyed this part. Please thumbs up and subscribe. If you would like to see more of my work, I hope you check out some of my apps. Um, I have a launcher called Lucid Launcher. It is on the Play Store, and I hope you'll check it out. And if you're feeling generous, there is Lucid Launcher Pro, and as well as Lucid Browser. Um, and I am currently working on a new app that I'm excited about. So I hope to show you that in the near future. Thank you for watching.